Uh, guys, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Uh, strangely, I watched this very early this morning, so it's still kind of <laughs> emblazoned in my brain. Um, I just wanted to start by asking you both, um, uh, for you first, Julian, I mean, what was, what was it about this particular story and this, this script that enticed you as a, as a filmmaker? I suppose I'm attracted to uh, uh, films that, you know, that you leave the cinema talking about it and touching on things that are sometimes dark, but get to the really core of difficult bits of human psychology, really. Um, but I also thought the it was incredibly affecting and moving the trajectory of David's story from childhood and how childhood affects adult decisions and adult behaviour. Um, seemed obviously in this case extreme case very clearly, but I think it's something that everybody can relate to in a in a lesser way. Um, yeah, and I, and I suppose I was also fascinated by the way that. David was able to function so successfully in the city when others were finding it difficult. That seemed quite interesting, and the, the, the type of relationships that were going on in the in his in his um, the bank, and um, and the fact that he didn't appear to feel to feel fear and the same stress in the same way that other people do. Obviously, that, that's more complicated than it first seems. Um, but Susie Farrell's screenplay was very subtle uh, it was um, very eloquent and it didn't it wasn't crude in any way it felt that it was tackling the this, this subject from a very human angle and very truthful angle and that really was what I tried to do in the way I directed it yeah David was it a surprise for you that someone had had wanted to, to tell your story on on the big screen did it come as a surprise or, or were you kind of maybe expecting mm -hmm that or maybe even a book or something to, to, to yeah, transpire like, from it? it? It happened really because I, I tried to write a book um, and back in 2007 at the end of a climb I had some time off to put my body back together and I sat down and jotted something down convinced it was going to win every prize going and it did the exact opposite um, and uh, I think perhaps chastened by my inability to write a decent story I slung it in a drawer my wife picked up the manuscript, handed it to a friend in the gym, who handed it to her husband, who just happened to want to make movies. That's how it happened. Yeah, gym's always a place for people to, to <laughs> trade, trade ideas, isn't it, I guess, <laughs> trade, in, the, in the strangest yeah. possible way. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you touched about it there, about how, how subtle and how, how thoughtful the, the, the script is. I just wonder for both of you when, you, when you read it for the first time, it must have been so, uh, it must have re relieved some pressure in that you knew that you were going down the right path with the, with the right writer, because it, it's such a fantastic, fantastically written script yes if anything I when I remember reading it first time I thought god this is too subtle and uh, but actually the moment you start having actors in and you start working with the script uh, it takes on a momentum of its own really um, and there's no other way I think of tackling this subject without being quite truthful um, and also getting into the mind of um, David via Mark Stanley and seeing it through his point of view was uh, interesting I think and it makes the audience go on that journey with all its highs and lows and uh, strange surreal moments um, and Susie was very good at capturing that and that obviously comes down to many hours spent with David and uh, you know unearthing all the all the the real things that happened that uh, don't need any embellishing because they're extraordinary enough. Yeah, and for you, David, I mean, obviously Mark portrays you, but there's obviously these two young actors as well who give equally fantastic performances. Mm. What was it like for you seeing them, you know, bringing these moments to life in a, in a cinematic way, but also, I guess, for you, was it was it was it cathartic in a way to see to see that back again, or, or was it did you kind of keep the keep your distance a little bit? Well, Anson An Anson Boone's performance as a 15 year old was was almost like a stepping stone between the two for me. Um, and I felt his, that time portrayed keenly, I must admit, it's, it was an awful time. And uh, I, I don't much like that bit of the film, if you know what I mean. It's something I don't, I prefer don't, if I could cut that bit out sort of thing, I, it's, it's the real pivotal moment in my head. But to be honest, when I, when I look at uh, Hugo Stone portraying me as a 10 year old, and having watched that shooting in South Africa at the time, that's that's the most was the most upsetting part of the process, and I still because I felt so so much affinity to him, 
he's a wonderful kid mm. um, but clearly the state of the heightened state of emotions at that time lent him an increased p importance in my mind and then I had to watch him go and act and there was a part of me that kept thinking he wasn't act acting it was a strange and I remember them asking me to leave the uh, the set or the AD did very politely um, because um, they couldn't cope with me standing there watching this I think yeah and at what base you settle on on Mark and the rest of the cast because I mean they're all absolutely mm. phenomenal but Mark in particular has a lot of a lot of weight to carry but then you have these two young actors who, who do a little bit at the carrying but what made you settle on on Mark yeah I mean well it because I knew by then I knew David quite well so it, it's tricky when you know somebody got old to find someone is it like that or is it a little bit different and it, uh, it we went met lots of people who were brilliant but there was something about Mark when he came in and I think uh, you know he's understanding of the character was very nuanced very subtle but I think the main most important thing was a sense of commitment that he was going to give to this part and that was the most important thing because it's a really difficult journey he's got has to go to some very deep and dark places uh, but he also has to you know really connect and understand what was going on in the script but also from talking talking with David and I ju they just came across when I met Mark and uh, there, there's something uh, very unaffected very truthful about him mm -hmm. and since that was really was the start of this directing I wanted to go down um, I just felt very blessed having met him yeah fantastic well guys thank you so much for your time it's been an absolute pleasure thank you so much thank you